All right, in this video, we're going to look at four different strategies for multiplying polynomials. So the first strategy we call the FOIL method. Now, all FOIL stands for is first, outer, inner, and last. And so it's this idea that we first multiply the first terms. So we take 3x times 5x. Then we do the outer terms which is 3x times negative 4. Then we do the inner terms, 2 times 5x. And then it's the last terms, 2 times negative 4. And so we can multiply this, which is 15x squared minus 12x plus 10x minus 8. And then what we need to do is combine our like terms. So we say, okay, 15x squared, there is no like term to that. Minus 12x plus 10x is a minus 2x or a negative 2x minus 8. And since these aren't like terms, there's nothing else we can do. So the next strategy is where we can use a box. And you just make the box as big as um, you need to based on the number of terms within um, each polynomial. So in this case we have a binomial multiplied by a binomial. So we need uh, a total of four boxes. And then inside this top left box we say 9x times 7x which is 63x squared. Then we can go down to the bottom the bottom left one and negative 6 times 9x is negative 54x. We'll go to the top right 7x times negative 5 is negative 35x, and negative 5 times negative 6 is a positive 30. And then what we can do is we see that these are like terms. So now we can say 63x squared, because there's no like term to that, minus 35x minus 54x is a minus 89x, and then we have this plus 30, which again does not have a like term and there's nothing more that we can do with that. A third strategy is we look at this in terms of distributing this whole thing through to each part here. So we can say that we have 4 times 3x plus 7 minus 2x times 3x plus 7. And now what we can do is just distribute this through, distribute this through here. So here we have 12x plus 28 minus 6x squared minus 14x. Again, we look for like terms. We have 12x and a minus 14x. 12x minus 14x is a negative 2x plus 28 minus 6x squared. And then let's put these in order uh, in descending exponential order in terms of x. So we can say negative 6x squared minus 2x plus 28. It's not wrong if you don't, it just uh, makes it a lot easier to look at and read and, and work with later on. Uh, this fourth strategy is actually using like a traditional uh, multiplication method. So we are actually going to be stacking these on top of each other. And I'm going to put multiplication, I'm going to put it in parentheses here because we need to multiply by both the negative 10 and the 3x. So we start by just going through and saying, okay, negative 2 times negative 10 is a positive 20. 7x times a negative 10 is a negative 70x. And 5x squared times a negative 10 is a negative 50x squared. Now we're going to treat this like a placeholder here, so we just won't put anything, so that we can line up our uh, like terms. So 3x times negative 2 is a negative 6x. 3x Three, times 7, a positive 7x, is a positive 21x squared. And 3x times 5x squared is 15x to the third. Now what we need to do is just add these up like again, like our traditional um, multiplication problems. 
So a negative 70x minus 6x is a negative 76x. Negative 50x squared plus 21x squared, since they're different signs, we're going to subtract them. And so we're going to get a negative 29x squared. And then we drop down the 15x cubed. And then there, again, there's nothing else we can do because there's no like terms left in here. And so any four of these strategies um, will work when you're multiplying polynomials. Quickly, some limitations would be the FOIL method really only works with a binomial times a binomial. If you get into a binomial times a trinomial, then the FOIL method breaks down. Um, so it's good to have uh, at least two or three of these strategies um, available to you at any given time.